it. <laughs> there, Jesse, I'll cut him off. Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you, you know, he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. Well, what's going on in here? No! Huh? You called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. But Dan was the one who pushed the button that killed Sparkles in the first place. It, it doesn't match up. You were there when the White Pumpkin did that to Lizzie, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. So that means I can't be the White Pumpkin. It's a fact, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside, outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. <laughs> Brave steps. Thank you. See? You all heard Dan, right? Fine. Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. Is that cool with everyone? That's not happening, unless one of us goes along, too. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir crazy. Somehow the white pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me. Dan, I know that you're innocent. You're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Aw, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Fine. I was sitting in a corner, humming to myself. It calms me down. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh -huh. Sounds good. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. things with you oh you know just peachy stuck in a house with a masked killer one of my best friends is the current top suspect it was really nice of Ivor to step up like that though. didn't think he had it in him yeah that guy can still surprise me sometimes agreed 
I think there's a lot more there than meets the eye. Okay, well, I vote we get back to it. I don't want to leave poor Lucas in that closet for too long. Secret passage. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. Hmm, yeah, that seems right. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. There we go. Awesome. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. Could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you and your friends' creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't it? proven that he didn't yet. Hey, come on, cool it. We're all in this together, aren't we? Depends. Figured you'd be on your little buddy's side. Ugh. You know what? They're not worth it. Come on. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the White Pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Petra, I get that you're upset, but would you stop taking it out on me? I'm trying here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm really sorry. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by... Figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. You thinking ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. Done. Don't. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah, I just hope this works. Think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways? Why, you scared? No, of course not. Just making sure I'm ready in case we have to fight. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them too. Ugh, ditto. Gross. i 
zombie noises. What in the world is that? <gasps> oh, some sort of like zombie spawn. Does that mean the white pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. I think this is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the white pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh... Zombie filled ones. If we get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petro. We're going climbing. Okay. I think we can jump from here. embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. No problem. Weird. That almost sounds like... Cats? sort of growing station. Weird. The white pumpkin must have heard us. Whoa! Ah! Stampy cat? Boy, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. Scared you? You scared us half to death. Stop sneaking around like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you noticed, but this place is very creepy. Come on, you guys. I can't be the white pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just a, supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow, who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Wow, Stampy Cat with the enchanted flint and steel. I didn't see that one coming. Definitely suspicious. I know, and that's why I had to keep it a secret. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? I think you should give it back to Dan. It's only fair. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's better. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. Oh, wow. Very creepy. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. Uh. That 
see here. Legend of the World portals, basic portal theory, portals view. Wow, they're all about portals. That's pretty obsessive. Patrick, did you see this? That's the portal hallway. Yeah, it looks like the white pumpkin's been there too. Oh no. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. <sighs> Those poor people. You guys doing okay? I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the white pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. And I thought that I was okay because I was numb and feeling no emotions at all. But... I'm beginning to suspect it was actually shock. Don't worry, we're gonna crack this wide open. I'm guessing this chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow, the ender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty, can you scoot out of the way, please? We need to get in the chest. Ah! No, bad kitty! Oh, stupid cats. I need something to distract it if I'm gonna get that chest open. Catch Jesse. Thanks. Bet that cat'll love this. Okay, here, kitty, get the fishy. There you go. Jeez. Oh, many cats, so many cats. Oh, the cats give me the creeps. No offense, Dan. None taken. I'm not really a cat. Seems I can finally get in here now. Full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. Guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed-out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed-out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay. So who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Man, you're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin.
I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Quickly, where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. The White Pumpkin is Cassie Rose. <gasps> She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're gonna have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Ivor's portrait had a red X on it. Actually, um, no, it didn't, Jesse. Oh, shoot, I guess I misremembered that. Well, no matter. I haven't even gotten to the really juicy stuff yet. That came next. When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre-X'd out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. Ooh, that's good. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats, and they all look just like Lindsay. No! An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. I'm relieved. But also surprised. But Cassie, I still don't understand why a portal key. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose. But no key to open it. That is... Until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship. Figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! You really think that's an excuse? You're pathetic, Cassie. It doesn't excuse all the horrible things you've done. You've spoken just like a person who has no idea what it feels like to be stuck somewhere you don't belong. We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 I won't let you do that. I can't. No. This is your fault. You did this to me. I'll fight all of you, each and every one of you. Whoa. Another trap. We need to dig her out. After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, look. I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot what her own traps were. Trap her taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning.
I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is... Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. It is really sad that they're gone, but I think they'd be happy that you guys made it out okay. I think you're right. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. Hey, it's cool. Guys, you can share it. You make, like, your own order of the stone. Yeah, all right. I guess I can live with that. Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. Well, I'm not great at goodbye, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. Bye! What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie, what's her name, was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. Man, that's too bad if it's true, seeing as she turned out to be, you know, the white pumpkin and all. Yes. Hadn't thought about that. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Winslow? That's strange. I thought. Oh! Can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites. And there it is, Jesse. You're trapped. Stuck. <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world. Oh, please. I've gotten out of way worse than this, Cassie. Huh. I admire your bravado. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Okay, you're right, you win. We'll give you the flint and steel, but let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever. <gasps> Winslow, my pet, activate the trap. 
trap. Want something done right, Jackson? Prepare for your death. <laughs> Guys, Jesse. Come on, Winslow. Stupid door. Oh, it's no use. Without a lever or button, we'll never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. Oh, that is disorienting. Uh, just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps? This is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Give me that key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grow tired of this game, Jesse. The key. You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No. <laughs> No, we are going home. No, 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 no. no, you can't do this. I've waited too long. It's mine, Cassie. I won't let you have it. No, no, Winslow, don't touch that. Bring the shiny thing to me! No, I'm afraid not. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious! <laughs> That's never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever! Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home! <laughs> Come on, Winslow! Out of yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Enderpearls! And that's where she wanted us to end up! Trapped. 
in my own trap. <laughs> of course. Of course. Well, at least you're still alive. That's more than Torque Dog or Captain Sparkles or Lizzie can say. You're right. Of course you're right. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best... My only friend. Please. Winslow? Winslow! Where are you, my darling? Come to Master, please! I have a fish! Come get the fishy! Winslow? Winslow! Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good side so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! 